Hello everyone, Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I've got a real quick and easy one. Uh, I got a question, it was either in the group or an email, I forget where I got it. I tried to find it so I could actually read it on the video, but it was somebody asking about their, uh, their candles and their wicks going out. He basically said that when he lights his candles, it lights for a little bit and after a while it just burns out. It, it uh, extinguishes itself and he's not really sure why. And I've got a quick little demonstration here uh, and I'm putting it on on a chalkboard so I can actually give like a visual representation of why this happens, or at least one of the reasons why this happens. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the camera down right here and go over it real quick. All right, so what we've got here is basically an eight ounce candle and I drew this to show, uh, obviously this is the jar right here. This is the wax inside. This is a good flame and this right here is gonna be your melt pool. Now on a, on a, when a candle is properly wicked uh, with a perfect flame, Cut, the wick is cut to the right height, a quarter of an inch. You're gonna have a melt pool that goes from edge to edge, and it's gonna be about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit bigger, if you have everything set up properly. So what happens is as this candle starts to go down, obviously the melt pool is gonna go down also. So you're, and then of course the flame is gonna come down. So that melt pool is gonna come further and further down the glass, burning edge to edge all the way down. Now this is where people get into trouble and why a candle will extinguish itself out. So say this wick, this is basically a representation of a wick that's too small in a jar. So what ends up happening is, as you start at the very top right here, and as it starts to burn down, you get leftover wax on the sides right here. And then once it gets down to a certain point, and you're usually gonna find it'll burn for, this is drawn a little deeper just to kind of show exactly what happens. Uh, this usually happens right at the top of the candle, but uh, I'm exaggerating this a little bit just to show exactly why it happens. So basically what happens is you've got your melt pool down here, the flame starts to go down, and as it gets further and further down into the glass, the wax that's built up on the sides finally starts to melt. And as this wax finally starts to melt, it goes down into the melt pool and it gets bigger and bigger until the melt pool basically gets up to the top of the candle and your flame is gonna get smaller and smaller until you've got a little flame like this and your melt pool is basically gonna fill itself in and then eventually just extinguish that out. And then once that's done, you're basically stuck with a little a little bit of a nub right there. Uh, you can get it to work again, but basically what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to clean that wax off the sides of the jars and then relight it. There's really no good way to salvage a candle that has a wick that's too small. You're always gonna run into uh, a melt pool drowning itself out. I, but that's basically it on why a candle will extinguish itself. The flame is still as big as it would be is if it was in a jar that was meant for it, but what happens is the wax just gets built up on the side, and then as it goes further and further down, the heat from that flame will melt the sides eventually, and then it will eventually fill in and melt towards the melt pool, and it'll rise too much to where it's melting basically too much wax and it just extinguishes itself. Now, like I said, that was a very quick and easy one and that's probably a real basic explanation for a lot of people, but for people that are just now getting into this, uh, something like that, just something like a wick extinguishing itself just doesn't make sense. So I hope that was at least helpful. This is definitely a candle kind of 101 lesson. So for anybody just starting out, I hope that was informative. I hope that made sense. And again, as always, if I glossed over something or if something didn't make sense in that, please ask in the comments down below. Uh, I Go through and I try to answer every single one of those. And as always, you can get in touch with me through all of the video descriptions down below, the email, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and of course the DIY Facebook group, which I have linked down below as well. So if you liked the video, if that was informative, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more and thank you for watching.